Oh no! So obviously that culvert is blocked up there, and it's um, the water's had nowhere to go but over the top. So that's going to be a major fix-up. That's like one of the main culverts on our driveway. When I went through last night, that one was fine, but we had a lot of rain overnight. I can't get through that way, so I have to go down my four-wheel drive track. Um, if that's not blowing out too, I'll go and have a look. Damn, I just finished cleaning that up too. Right, at least the culvert's holding. Have a look. There's an old track up there, and every time we get a flood, it just the rain follows the track down, brings all the gravel down with it. So, got another big pile there. Um, this one. Oh, this one's looking a little bit clogged as well. Yeah, all it would take to block that out is a few sticks in front of it and then a build up of gravel and that would be going over the edge so we'll have to get a machine up here and clear that out it's just running straight out of the side of the hill there look at that There should be a culvert down there somewhere. It's filled up with gravel, so I'll try and get to the bottom of it. Did it? All it takes is a couple of branches. Holding up all right, thankfully. Good. That's a relief. Was worried about that one.
So a lot of people were saying in the comments um, when I did this that I've done it all wrong and it won't hold up but the proof is in the pudding. It held up to not a 50 year flood but a 100 year flood so just shows you even the experts can be wrong. <laughs> I think part of the reason it works is because like the culvert is offset from the waterfall so it gives it a chance to absorb all that energy before the water gets down here and um, filter out all the rocks. So I think if that culvert was over there that would have been clogged up and we would have lost a whole lot so yeah culvert offset from the waterfall makes a big difference. I think that's what saved it but we're gonna have to do a bit of tidying up but it's um Unless it's still holding all right. That's brilliant, good to see. Again. <laughs> well. At least the pipes have stayed there. I didn't know if that culvert would still be there. That's like the main the main culvert on our driveway, so quite glad that one's still holding. Uh, so that means I can get in and out down my four-wheel drive track. It's very tempting to bring the excavator down and uh, take a couple of scoops out of there. Because um, if that one goes, then there's no access at all. Can't see if anyone needs help on the road. I think I'll make sure this bridge is okay before I go across. Yeah, it looks okay. This is probably one of the highest I've seen it in 22 years. Somehow I don't think I'll be getting to town today. That's a big mudslide. It's like mush. There's no way I'll get through there. What a bloody mess. Well, I don't even think the Hilux will get over that. <laughs> oh, pretty sloppy. So, looks like I'm here for a few days. There used to be a fence going across there. That's been washed away. 
that whole edge could slip. Look at that. There's a big crack going right along there. Damn, that whole edge is just going to go in. Right, better go check the turbines because I've lost power as well. Hopefully they're still there. Too bad. Turbines are still intact, so that's good to see. They haven't gone down this river. So it's still putting out a little bit, but um, obviously the intake is blocked, so I'll just put a smaller jet on that and that'll probably help. Get some of a blocked intake, but it might be a bit of gravel in the jet over look. Yeah, it's probably a blocked intake, so if I put a smaller jet on there, then um, I think that'll bring the power back up. I'll put the smaller jet on, and that means it'll use less water and um, should make more power, because I think the intake is blocked up. That's sounding a bit, lot better. Pretty good now. I'll leave that one for another day. That sounds like it's making about 400 watts now. Back up to 300 watts. Uh, that'll do me for now until I can sort out that intake. That's pretty good. That'll keep the freezers and everything going. fix that up properly on the way back I just want to stop the water flowing down there and make it worse that'll do for now
trucks want to come off. she makes it back up the hill after this. It's a, big, it's a big ask for the old wheel. It's been going past the drain and rutting out this section, so good to get that done. That culvert is still blocked up and we're due for a lot more rain so I'm going to try and clear it before it pours down. Alright, that's cleared all that loose stuff away there, so hopefully that'll be okay now. <laughs> 